Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. I am so excited for today because it's a day of creativity with the three energy coming in. I'm Kristen Ballas. I'm a quantum numerologist, wealth expansion, and certified brain game coach. And it is a fantastic energy for New Year's Eve. So, so much fun available to us and creativity and, um, and amplifying anything that we want to put out there. So today is got no official contract. It's the day of the Joker. And the Joker, um, you know, it's funny. I did a quantum numeral or quantum numerology, a quantum healing session earlier this year, and it was fantastic. And much to my surprise, when I was, you know, being re regressed into past life experiences, um, <clears throat> she asked me what what you know to look at my feet and what was you know what was i wearing on my feet or what did my feet look like and to my surprise i had you know the little funny shoes with the curly toes and the bells on them i was the joker i was the court jester and um in that life i found out how powerful that position actually can be it is a position of great influence because the joker is the only one who is allowed to poke fun at the king and queen and get away with it and so um you know that's kind of the energy for today is um not what can you get away with but this energy of great influence, actually. And the Joker also, you know, was a master impersonator, um, very wise as well, lots of wisdom with the Joker, but, you know, how to, um, to know when to cross the line and when not to, you know, and when you would lose your head, because even though you were allowed to make fun of the king and queen, you had to do it in a very clever way. And so, um, you know, I just through that past life experience, it was just really interesting to see how much influence I had and how much knowledge I had about what was actually going on in the inner circle of the of the king and queen and what the plans were and you know being privy to very high level information. And so, um, you know, we have that available to us, and not just today, but always, right? Because Today brings in this, you know, highly intuitive influence. We're feeling that six energy year coming in. We've been feeling it coming in. We'll probably be celebrating more with smaller groups, with close family and friends, if we're if we're able to celebrate with anyone, depending on your situation. Um, but I feel like even if you're in an area that's more locked down or anything, that you will still find a way to commune with family and close friends and um and that's really you know that energy coming in today but it is it, it, that six energy is also very creative so with that three energy it's being amplified even more and so um there's this um this knowing that whatever you do today is going to be amplified and so choose carefully you know to do do your celebrations in moderation um, and, you know, we'll also see things coming up. I'm just looking at the cards I pulled for today. Um, we'll also think, maybe see things coming up or, um, you know, as we reflect and, you know, open ourselves up to the willingness to see things as they really are right on this last day of our Neptune um, season here. It's, you know, Neptune is about shattering illusions. And so <clears throat> we might see things come out in the collective or just in our personal lives that we're realizing, you know, having these realizations that, oh, wow, I wasn't seeing this clearly before, or I didn't see this for what it was before something may be coming to the surface. So just be open to that today as you reflect and, you know, not to, um, there's no need to have a big reaction to it just um, <clears throat> acceptance of it is really helpful. Also, um, because it's, you know, this can come up because it is a very karmic day ha having New Year's Eve on a Saturn day. So uh, with that six energy coming in as well, it's, um, it, there can be some stuff rising up, but that's okay, you know, just be willing to see it and, um, and allow, you know, um, and so, we're going to be getting a lot of stuff like that happening throughout this year. 
and it's nothing to to be worried about you know it's just you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff coming in um things that you didn't realize before or weren't able to see before or things that have been maybe we've been aware of them but the collective hasn't things rising up that's going to be a lot of what this coming year is about um there's a lot of things family and friends are going to be a big thing um but we'll talk about that more in um the love yourself to wealth group where we have today at noon pacific time 3 p.m eastern we are going to be diving into your personal year ahead and um that will include a little bit about the energy of the year coming up for 2022 as well uh, but we're going to focus it more on for you personally i'm going to help you figure out your um calculate your personal year number and then tell you how that's going to fit in with the energy of the collective six year and um, what you can expect for your year ahead so that's going to be a lot of fun join us in there i put the link in the description so that you can join in in that but today when we're deciding what we want to amplify gratitude is a fantastic choice and so as we're reflecting on our year and as we are um you know looking back at all of the challenges the lessons the um you know how far we've come and you know really allowing ourselves to embrace how how all the good things that came out of this year even if they were challenging at the time and really express a lot of gratitude for that you know today's a great day to do a gratitude list it's a great day to you know give yourself a rest to you know allow your body to be grateful like just being able to to rest a little bit today and go wow <laughs> it's a tough year we did a lot we it moved very fast with the five energy you know and so just allowing yourself that time to kind of you know reflect and celebrate on that and also dream and vision it is our last day of our neptune um, season and that is all about dreaming and visioning about what's possible in the new year and so you know this is a great day to, to do that as well you know to really dive into that and what do i want my 2022 to look like because the joker is not an actual contract you can be anything you want right the master impersonator so um you can create and be whatever you want and that's really the energy today of you know wow that there's unlimited possibilities and so um you know really letting yourself have that and celebrating who you are right now and who you are becoming so have a wonderful wonderful new year's eve enjoy the celebrations again remember to take those in moderation we're getting that that message from the star fruit dragon here and then you know be aware and be willing to um follow those intuitive nudges see through things that may have you know clouded your judgment in the past and then focus on gratitude with that honeydew dragon so it'll be a fun day if you let it be and um if there's there's a lot of fun and celebration and creativity available to us today so dive into that part and really have fun and um and, and let yourself have a rest it's the end of the year so you know feeling like you want to kick back let you let yourself it's okay so um have a great new year's and a wonderful holiday weekend and i will see you again i'll see you at noon in the love yourself to wealth group if you're joining us for the annual forecast the personal year forecast so we'll see you soon oh and i did want to give a shout out to my aunt my aunt chrissy it's her birthday today she is the joker so she's been able to have a life of, of you know being whoever she wants to be and how fun is that so anyway have a great day guys and love you i will uh, see you again soon bye bye